How's it hanging, guys? Sleepy here, bringing you another pickup video. In uh, today's video, everything I want to share with you guys is all of the non-Xbox-related uh, pickups that I got. In the last pickup video, I shared with you guys everything Xbox I got, and this is all the other stuff that I was talking about. But we'll start off the video first with a gift that I got from my brother. He uh, recently came to visit me, and he had another gift uh, to donate to my collection. And that was his old Xbox 360 Limited Edition Red uh, Resident Evil 5 console, which is in box, complete with everything, which is awesome. He took really good care of his stuff. As you can see, the box is in really good condition. And so is the console, and I'm uh, very happy to add this to uh, the collection, because the Xbox 360 is one of my favorite consoles. And I definitely like the... Uh, red uh, looking system so it'll be great with the uh, collection uh, he just recently got out of playing the 360 he really had been playing for a long time he's mostly been playing his ps4 and his uh, pc so he didn't want this anymore and uh, decided to donate to my collection so that's awesome you know thank you so much mike really appreciate uh you you've donated a lot of awesome stuff to my collection and i uh, just want to say thanks man definitely love you and i uh, look forward to seeing you again soon definitely miss you bro and now we'll move on to uh, stuff from the Goodwill. I uh, recently hit up the Goodwill. Uh, they had a lot of games there, of course. The majority of them were sports titles. But I picked up all of the uh, non-sports games. Uh, had some DS titles. First one was uh, My Sims Kingdom, which looks pretty fun. Uh, we have it for the Nintendo Wii, and my girlfriend's son enjoyed playing that. So I figured I'd pick up this one. Thought he might enjoy it as well. It is complete. Got that for 3 bucks. I also had uh, De Blob 2 there, which I've heard a lot of good things about the De Blob game. So I figured... I'd pick up a copy and check it out. Looks fun. And that one's complete. Got that for three bucks. Last DS game I got there was Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures, which I love the Lego games, and they are pretty fun on the uh, DS. So if you got a DS and you like Lego, uh, definitely recommend uh, picking them up. They're very fun titles. It is complete. And I got that one for three bucks. I also snagged a couple PS2 titles. First up was uh, Airblade. It's a futuristic hoverboard game. Looks like it probably plays similar like a Tony Hawk game, but with uh, hoverboards, so that's kind of neat, because I did enjoy those games. That is complete as well, and that was two bucks. Another thing they had there was uh, Eureka 7 Volume 2 The New Vision, which I never watched this anime before, and I never played the game. So if you guys have watched the show, let me know how it is, and if you guys have ever played any of the games, let me know how they are. But it does look kind of cool. Definitely going to have to check this out here on my uh, next day off. It is complete, and I got that one for two bucks. They also had a couple GameCube titles. First one here was uh, Darkened Sky, which they're both kind of beat up. Uh, as you can see, this first one, somebody had glued the cover. It was lifted up and dog-eared up here a little bit, little rips down there. But uh, I'm always glad to pick up GameCube titles just because they're so hard to find nowadays. Uh, unfortunately, it is missing the manual, but the disc is immaculate. No scratches at all, so that's awesome. I try to test it out. It works great. And I got that for uh, $3, so not bad. The other GameCube title they had there was the Arcade Edition of Road Trip, which is another racing game. I love racing games. It has four-player battle mode, 100-plus vehicles and parts, so you can customize stuff, 36 tracks. It can even unlock a special racing circuit when you connect it to the Road Trip Shifting Gears for Game Boy Advance. That's pretty cool. I like when you can connect games on the uh, GameCube to the uh, Game Boy Advance. I always thought that was kind of a neat feature. It's also a little beat up. Uh, again, though, the disc, great condition, so is the manual, and I got that for 3 bucks. so that's everything from the uh, Goodwill. Definitely just going to have to keep hitting up the uh, thrift stores and starting to see more and more games, so I just got to keep my head up, you know, and keep out there searching, keep doing the grind, and, you know, eventually, you know, we'll all find more stuff out there. Uh, picked up a couple more Skylander traps at my work. We got a new shipment in. Finally found uh, a fire trap that I needed. I hadn't been able to find one for a while, but I finally got one. And I got all these traps for 5 bucks each, so we got a fire trap. I got two dark traps. A light trap. And then we had uh, three chaos traps in there, so I definitely picked those up because I haven't been able to find one for a long time. I also know a buddy that wants one, so I'm going to send one his way. And then I'll just have an extra one. So we got one, two, and three. So definitely awesome. Very happy to add these to my uh, Skylanders trap team collection. Just still have to get out there and uh, get the game, though, for it. But at least I'm knocking a lot of the traps out of the way. Next up, I picked up by another Amiibo. Now, I'm not getting into Amiibos like a lot of people are. They're getting, you know, collecting them all. I'm just going to pick up a couple here and there. And uh, they had this one there, and that was a Toad Amiibo, which I do like the Toads. 
a little beat up here, but that's all right. I'm just going to be opening this anyways, because this one is compatible with Mario Party 10. I got that for the retail price of $13. And then at Walmart, I picked up the Mario Party 10 uh, game with the Mario Amiibo, and that was $60, bucks, in excellent uh, condition. I do enjoy the game, however, it is not as good as previous Mario Party titles. I definitely would have to put it at towards the bottom of the list when it comes to ranking the best Mario Party games. I think number two is my all-time favorite, but ten, I'd have to push it way down on the list just because of the changes. Like, you can't be individually controlling, like all your people are together on this vehicle, and you all move in the same thing. It's different than like how the old ones were more board game-like. But it does have a cool a Bowser party where someone can play as Bowser, and you also have Amiibo party, which you can play with the Amiibos. But overall, uh, it's just not as good as the old Mario parties. I still would recommend picking it up if you can get it cheap, but uh, I was a little disappointed with it. But still cool to add them to the collection, so glad to have those. I will move on to some more PS2 games from the game stores. First up, I got Aqua Aqua, the addictive fast action 3D puzzler. Great condition. Complete. Got that for a buck. They also had Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja Pro-Am, which I love the Aqua Teen Hunger Force show. So I thought it would be kind of cool to get a game based on them. It is complete. I got that for $2.50. Copy here of uh, MX Rider. Complete. That was $2.50. Copy of The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, which has Jet Li on the front, so that's pretty cool. Never saw the movie before, but uh, it looked kind of fun, so I'm going to give it a try. This complete. I got that for $2.50. Next up, found a uh, Sega Master System game, and that was a copy of Monopoly in excellent condition. And it was complete with the uh, manual, which is pretty rare. In my area, you rarely find uh, Master System games complete. You know, they usually don't. If you find them with a case, you're lucky if they have a manual. So very happy. Cartridge is in great condition, too. And it only cost me 5 bucks, so not bad. Uh, picked up a Nintendo DS game that I've wanted for quite a while, and that was uh, Yoshi's Island DS, which I love the uh, Yoshi games. Really cool. Definitely glad to have this in the collection. Unfortunately, I was missing a manual, but I'll pick one up eventually. And I got that for uh, $15, so not bad. Uh, finally picked up some more uh, Sega Dreamcast games, which I've wanted to get more Dreamcast titles. They're just really hard to find. My game stores have a few, but they're always the same titles. Finally, someone recently had donated some more, and so I picked up some uh, more stuff. First up was uh, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. Great condition. That one was $2.50. Got a copy of Virtual Striker 2. Soccer game, nothing special. That one was $250. Uh, Hoyla Casino, over 350 Vegas style games. I gotta replace the case because it's beat up. This is great condition though. Got that for five. Uh, they had Expendable, which this looks pretty fun. I'm definitely gonna pop this in and try it out. Got that one for five. Four Wheel Thunder. Another racing game, which I love racing games, so happy to have that. That one was five bucks. Had a uh, Sega Marine Fishing, which I played Sega Bass Fishing. Loved that game with the fishing reel, but I never played Sega Marine Fishing, so I'll have to check it out and see how it is. Oops. Got that one for five bucks, and I'll have to replace that inner there since it's broken. I uh, got Vanishing Point, another racing game. This one's by Acclaim. Looks pretty cool, though. That was five. Virtual on... Uh, Aratorio Tandrum Vir I'm not sure, Cyber Troopers not sure how I'm saying that right, definitely probably butchered it but uh, this looks pretty cool, looks like a little mech game, which i never heard of before definitely want to check it out, great condition I got that for 10 bucks, the last uh, Dreamcast game I've got is this is a title I've wanted for a long time, I've only ever seen one other copy in the past couple years and I regretted not picking it up so when I saw it there, I just decided, hey, I'd pick one up, and that was a copy of uh, D2, which I did love this game when it first came out. Unfortunately, did not have the manual, but it does have all four discs, and I picked that up for uh, $40. Kind of pricey, but I really should have jumped on that uh, $20 copy a few years ago, but just happy to have it, so looking forward to checking out that one. Haven't played it in years, so that should be pretty cool. They also had a couple PS1 titles I wanted. The first one here was... Uh, 
copy of Vandal Hearts, which I'm starting to get more and more RPGs now for the PS1, knocking them off my wanted list. This one was in great condition. Artwork and everything, manuals nice. Same with the disc. So, you know, not a bad deal. That was, I think, $30. You know, pretty good deal for that, so happy with that. Last PS1 title I got was I finally got a copy of the first Alundra. I've been looking for one of these for a while, just also could not find it. And a guy finally got one in. Excellent condition. Complete with the disc. Manual's nice. And so is all the artwork and everything. Very happy with that. And that one only cost me $25. So very good deal. Finally glad to add the first Alundra since I had the second one. So that's cool. We'll end the video with a couple Wii titles. First up, picked up a copy of uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. I already had this game. But uh, for $10, you know, I'm not going to just leave it behind at the video store. Great condition. So happy with that. And finally picked up a copy of this game. I've been looking for quite a while because it's another one of those hard-to-find games. I don't know, maybe it's just didn't have a high print run. But that was Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and that's in excellent condition, complete with everything. And I paid uh, $50 for that, so very happy, great game. If you uh, have the Wii and you like Kirby, I definitely recommend Kirby's Return to Dreamland, but... Like I said, at least in my area, it's just really, really hard to find. But very happy with that pickup because you can do four player on it. I'm going to play this with my uh, girlfriend and uh, her son. So very happy with that. All right, guys, that's all of my non-related uh, Xbox pickups. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash AsianCB1. You guys can also check out my Weebly page. Do try to update both of those pages as often as I can. All right. Take care, have a great day, and sleepy. I'll see you guys next time.